In this video, I'll show three different methods of embedding PDFs in Elementor. In the first method, I'll not use any plugins. I'll use a simple code. You can see the code here. You can copy the code from the video description. Let's try this. I'll copy the code and here I'll search for HTML. I'll drag this HTML block here. Now I'll paste the code in this HTML code block. I need to replace these dots with the URL of the PDF. The PDF is already uploaded in the media library. I'll go to the media library. This is the PDF. I'll copy the URL to clipboard. Now I'll replace these dots with the URL. And here I can see the preview. I can adjust the height and the width of the PDF. Currently the height of the PDF is too short. I'll make it 2000. And now I can see the full PDF here. Still I can see the scroll bar with the PDF. I'll make it 2010. Okay, this looks good now. It doesn't have the scroll bar. Now let's publish the page and see how it looks. I'll preview the page. And this is how the PDF looks. This PDF is embedded using Elementor. Now I want to create a download link for this PDF. If you don't need to embed like this, you can just create a download button. Or you can just create a link to download. I'll add the button. I'll search for button here. This is the button. Here in the link text box, I'll paste the same link. I'll paste it here. To download PDF, I'll align the button to the center. Now I'll save this. Now I can see the download PDF button. When I click on this, it opens the PDF. If you don't need to embed the PDF like this, then you can use the download option. Let's see the third method. I'll remove this block here. I'll remove the download button here. For the third method, I'll use a plugin. I already have the plugin installed on this website. This is the plugin, Embed Press. This plugin is free to use. It has a pro version, but the free version is enough for embedding a PDF. Now here, I'll search for Embed. I can see the Embed Press option. You will see these options here only when the Embed Press plugin is installed. Here, I have the option to Embed Press PDF. I'll drag this here. Now I need to add a PDF. Here the document type is file. I can select a file. If you select the URL, then you can paste the URL of the PDF. So I'll select a file. And now I'll select this upload option. And I'll select the PDF. But this time I want to embed a different PDF that has multiple pages. I'll go to upload files here. I'll select file. I'll upload this PDF with multiple pages sample PDF. The PDF with multiple pages is selected. I'll click on the select button. Here I can see the preview. Currently the height of the embedded PDF is too short. For that I need to adjust the height here. I'll scroll this to the right to increase the height. And I can see the preview. I want to increase the height so that it shows only one page at a time. When I scroll down, I can see I need to increase the height a little bit. So I'll make it 1450. Let's see how it looks. So this is the embedded PDF. Currently, I am seeing only one page. When I scroll down, I can see the other pages as well. At the bottom of the embed, I see powered by embed press. So here at the left, I see powered by. I can turn this option off. So I don't see that powered by text. Here in the viewer style option, it has one more option that is flipbook. I'll select this flipbook and now the PDF viewer will behave like a flipbook. I'll publish this. I can go to the next page with this button here. Also, I can hear the sound of flipping a page. I can go to the next pages. I can go back to the previous pages like this. Now I don't need the height this much, right? So what I can do, I can adjust the height here. I can make it 900 and this looks better. When you use the embed press plugin to embed a PDF, it provides a toolbar. It has the download option, print option, view in full screen option, and zoom in, zoom out options. Under this controls option, you can add a custom background. Here I'll select the red color. Now you see the background color for the PDF viewer is red. You can turn off some of this option in the toolbar. Like you can turn off the zoom in, zoom out, but you cannot turn off the download button until you purchase the premium version of the plugin. If you like the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.